so what kind of nail art can you do with just the polish and the brush? Did I get your creative mind going? Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Claris, I'm a nail artist. Before I show you my first design, give this video a thumbs up below and we'll begin. I'm starting off like I most always do with a peel off base coat. So first up is this really neat dry brushing graffiti nails. I came across with this design in my testing hacks video. So yep, you're just going to paint the whole nail black. Now you're going to grab your white nail polish and you're just going to brush as much polish as you can off the brush on the inside of the bottle. And then we can start streaking it onto the nail. And you notice how it makes these really cool streaks like that. And what you can do is then brush it in the other direction and it's just a really cool effect. And that's a really quick and easy design and it looks really cool. Now we're going to finish off this design with a matte top coat. This is Essie's Matte About You top coat. And you can add a glossy top coat before this to help smooth out the surface. But this design is pretty smooth, I think, so I don't need to do that step. Next is this really cute, classic, cloudy day nail. And this version doesn't need any tools. I have this light blue from Essie, and I'm going to start by painting the whole nail light blue. And then grab your white nail polish, and just go ahead and add some clouds to this nail, you know? What's cool about the brush is that it's basically just perfect for making those rounded lumps. I'm going to put my own spin on this design. I'm going to make a sun. Where should I put it? Maybe here? You know, that kind of reminded me of an egg yolk. Hey, that gives me an idea! If you'd like to see how my egg nail came out, make sure to stay to the end. Next is this purple and silver themed French tip. So we're going to paint our whole nail a light purple. And this will be the base color. Now I'm taking my metallic silver polish. And I'm just going to swipe it across the tip diagonally like this. Alright, and then with the dark purple, I'm just going in and adding another diagonal line. Now, I believe I got inspiration for this idea somewhere. I'm not exactly sure who, but it's a really cool idea. And there we go. No striping tape or anything like that needed. This is a super cute and super simple design with a little heart at the corner. And we're going to start off with a base of light pink to create this design. Now you're going to grab your red nail polish. And I'm just going to make a little bead of polish on my brush by brushing off all the polish on one side and then halfway on the other side. And it makes a little bead like that. And I'm just going to drop the bead right there and kind of go towards the end like that. And then another one right here and then also down. And I just put some polish right on the edge like that. And there we go. It's so simple and so cute. A little heart right on the end like that. It would be perfect for Valentine's Day. This is another really neat metallic and dark purple design. To create this look, first paint your whole nail a base of a metallic silver. And for some reason, this metallic silver just dried so fast. I mean, it was like less than 10 minutes. It's already dry and it's not even making any dents. Wow, okay. So we're going to move on to the dark purple nail polish. This is Hazy Days by Essie. And this time I'm going to start the brush a little lower than usual, go up a little bit, and then go down the nail. And then I'm going to go around the sides, trying to make everything as rounded as I can. And hey, I think that came out pretty good. It has a little more of a formal edge to it, and I think it looks pretty impressive for not having used any tools. So now you know how to do it. All right, so I discovered this no tool nail art design when I tested a couple hacks at the end of this video. And I think it turned out really well and it looks really cool. So I'm going to show you guys that design again, but this time I'm going to use orange instead of red and see what that looks like. Cause it's fun to experiment, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to start out by painting our whole nail a black. Now you're going to take your white nail polish and just brush some of it off. 
and you're going to make petals of a flower. It really doesn't matter how perfect or not perfect it is. Just make some petals coming out kind of like this. And we're just going to let it dry enough so that it doesn't smear and we're going to add a layer of orange nail polish over this. Alright, I let it dry for a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead with the layer of orange nail polish. This is from OPI. And I'm going to brush on a layer over this. Sorry guys, that didn't quite work. I don't know what happened. The red worked just fine in my other video. Yeah, it just totally covered it and then just smeared the white everywhere. And yeah, this is kind of a mess. So if you'd like to see me do this design the right way, you can check out the bonus episode at the end of my nail art video for short nails. Now this is like a nautical ocean waves design. I just think it's really cool how much you can do without tools. So we're going to start by painting the whole nail a light blue. Now I'm grabbing a dark blue and we're going to make some waves across this nail. Alright, this is what I came up with. There are a lot of variations you can do with this design. This is a neat red glitter gradient and you don't need a sponge for this one. Grab your red polish and hey, this is the same one I used to do this mani right here. Go ahead and paint your whole nail red. Now select any red glitter you have you'd like to use. I have an ILMP red holographic polish and I swatched this polish over on my Instagram. So you're just going to wipe off most of it and then we're going to start making the gradient. Now you can do it coming from the cuticle or the tip. I'm going to do from the cuticle. So I'm just going to dab on a good generous amount near the cuticle just to get that glitter in there. And then I'm just going to slowly, as I'm running out of polish on the brush, just dab it down the nail and going about halfway. And I'm just going to go in with some more and do kind of like a second coat idea. And that is the completed look. I think it's a great idea if you want to do a red glitter, but you don't want to go full out and you want to have an interesting effect. I think it's really cool how the glitter is just at the cuticle and then it fades out. This is a really cute purple themed flower. You're first going to paint your whole nail a light purple. Now to make the petals for this flower, we're going to use white nail polish. And I'm just going to brush a bunch of it off the brush. And then we're going to make petals coming out of the side. That was fun, let's do another one. All right, and let's let this dry. I take my purple hollow, and I'm very carefully going to try to fill in these spots where I put the white, but don't go all the way to the edge. It should have that little white border there. There we go. Let's do the other one. Doing it like that is kind of cute too. Yep, again, there are a lot of different possibilities you can do. So I like to cook my eggs in a cast iron pan. So we're going to use a black hollow because I think this kind of reminds me of it. <laughs> if you like, you can watch me swatch test this hollow and a bunch of other hollows from the same collection in this video after you're finished watching this one. Okay, I decided to go back and do another coat. I think it looks a lot better with two coats. Okay, now let's make the egg white. I'm going to make a lumpy blob in the center. Hey, that's pretty good. It kind of looks like something just kind of splatted onto my nail. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking my yellow nail polish and I'm going to make the dot right in the center. All right, that's really cute. It's not exactly my style, but I think it very much resembles an egg on a frying pan, don't you think? All right, guys, thank
Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, here's a sneak peek into my next video. I'm going to put together a compilation of a lot of my nail art designs in a very quick sped up compilation. If you'd like to see that, feel free to subscribe down below. It would mean so much to me. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. EST. If you have any friends who also love nail art, feel free to share my channel with them. Do you have a favorite of these no tool nail art designs I showed you today? I'd love to hear your favorite in the comments. If you'd like to see more of my nail art designs, I have a whole playlist of tutorials I created in the description below. Remember that a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. Alright guys, see you next time. Bye! Okay, now let's make the egg yolk. It's the egg white. <laughs> Before I show you the first design, drop a like on this video to let me know that you're interested. Drop a like on this video. Drop a like on this video if you like nail art with no tools.